There's nothing quite like the discovery of an unusual object in space that scientists can't quite explain to bring out the UFO conspiracy theorist in all of us, even if it is only for a moment. Though I'm seeing plenty of the usual big conspiracy channels trying to spin this one for all it's worth. A muamua is a strange looking elongated rock, originally categorized as a comet, that did not originate from our solar system. Given its incredible speed, it most certainly isn't from our neighborhood. It was traveling at 100 196,000 miles per hour, and even though the sun's gravity probably gave it a push as it slingshot around our star, it whipped past the Earth at a speed that suggests it was already traveling at immense speed before it entered our solar system. This is the first time that an object like this has ever been recorded, and it's already having many scientists scratching their heads trying to explain some of its unique properties. For starters, this thing is so fast that even our massive sun doesn't have the power to contain it within our solar system. It's not going to enter some huge elliptical orbit. This thing is gone and it's never coming back. As to where Oumuamua came from, that's anyone's guess. It appears to have come from the direction of Vega in the constellation Lyra, but that's still pretty vague. Astronomers theorize that because of its incoming speed, it was close to that of the average motion of stars near our own. And because the speed of younger stars is more stable than the speed of older ones, Oumuamua may have come from a younger star system, but it's also possible that it's been traveling around the galaxy for billions of years. In addition, though it doesn't look like a comet, it appears to behave like one. Usually when an icy object is heated by a sun, it produces a large tail, a coma jetting outward as a result of volatile materials being vaporized on the object. However, there's a reason that scientists have gone back and forth in their categorizing of a muamua as either an asteroid or a comet. They initially thought it was a comet, but then thought it was an asteroid instead because they couldn't see the comet's tail when they looked at it. All they could see was a single point of light in their telescopes. But then it began to accelerate and that made them think that it was a comet again. That's because acceleration of such an object is usually explained by the plume that a comet produces as the volatiles vaporize. It also has an unusual elongated shape, which can only be discerned by its dramatic variations in brightness. Scientists believe that it's 10 times as long as it is wide, about 800 meters in length. Now, here's where the exciting UFO conjecture comes in. A muamua is metal rich and extremely dense, and when you add all of these unusual properties together, along with the fact that it originated far beyond our neck of the woods, you begin to see how this could quickly become a tantalizing prospect for those of an overly imaginative disposition. You see, there's another explanation for the sudden acceleration of this object, and when you consider that explanation alongside all of the other unusual aspects of a muamua, it's not hard to see how elaborate and fantastical notions are soon entertained. Two scientists from the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, Professor Abraham Loeb and Shmuel Bialy, propose something interesting. The object could be a solar sail, a piece of space debris from an ancient alien probe that entered our solar system using some kind of starshot type technology. Breakthrough Starshot is a research engineering project that aims to develop a proof of concept for a fleet of tiny spaceships equipped with solar sails. They would be accelerated to 15 to 20% the speed of light by laser beams and would journey to the Proxima Centauri star in the Alpha Centauri solar system. They'd then travel back and return their data. What if aliens thought of the same idea and wanted to explore our solar system in the same way? The acceleration is as a result of the sail being accelerated by the solar radiation. They also suggest a second possibility, that a muamua is in fact a fully functional alien spacecraft, a probe on a reconnaissance or exploratory mission that would explain its density and metal-rich properties. However, I don't see why it would be rotating if that were the case. It seems to be spinning along two axes. I'm not sure what benefit that would be to such a scientific expedition. In addition, a quote from the late Professor Stephen Hawking is also being bandied about, in which he claimed that such an elongated interstellar craft would be an ideal shape to minimize friction 
friction and damage from interstellar gas and dust. So, to recap, scientists don't truly know what a Muamua looks like. They can only deduce its shape based on the variations in its brightness. Everything we see here is an artist's impression. It doesn't produce a typical comet tail when it probably should. It comes from another solar system, which just adds to its mysteriousness. It suddenly accelerated without an obvious explanation, and it has a high metal content. If human beings were sending a research spacecraft to another solar system for a brief reconnaissance flyby, this is precisely how it would work. A muamua, which by the way is Hawaiian for scout, is expected to pass the orbit of Saturn in January of 2019. It's very likely that if this thing was producing a comet-like tail, that all of the alien space probe talk would vanish pretty quickly. However, NASA already have an explanation for this, which is that Comet Oumuamua could have gases like carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide emanating from its surface, which are less likely to produce a visible tail or coma. In all likelihood, this object formed naturally. It's probably debris left over from the formation of a moon or small planet. In addition, just like with all UFO-type conspiracy theories, all that astronomers can deduce is that this thing is a dot in the sky. They can't see it. They can just see a single point of light. As I've always maintained, I will believe the aliens are visiting us when I'm presented with some real, credible evidence. The lack of evidence is not a form of evidence, and that's always the logical fallacy that UFO conspiracy theorists fall into. Could this thing actually be an alien spacecraft on a solar flyby survey mission? Yes. Do we have a shred of evidence confirming that? No. What we have is an object that is unusual for a number of reasons. But its acceleration could be explained by it being a comet with a tail that we can't see because it's ejecting gases like carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide. Anyway, too bad we don't have a powerful enough telescope to look directly at this thing. Because obviously, if we did, we'd be able to confirm that it's actually the Odyssey from 2001. <laughs> so there you go. Anyway guys, I'm curious about your thoughts on this subject, and apologies for my very hoarse voice today. As you can probably hear, I'm a little bit under the weather. Looking forward to your comments, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.